if my field is at such a high state will i is that karma dissipated because they say that that can't i mean if i've killed somebody in a past life or i've done some stuff it will always come back it's the arrow which is kind of i mean that's the simile they give you know which is in the quiver ready to leave already left all those ones is it possible then to change it at anything no matter what i do today or it's going to affect me so uh my life experience is unfolding right in front of my eyes um on a day to day moment to moment basis and in every moment at every day uh, the whole of my life i am engaging engaging with life and there are certain experiences that have access to me and therefore they enter my space good bad whatever we want to call it and there are certain experiences that do not have access to me and that is merely a reflection of the quality of the energy that i am holding in the current moment right so th- this is not like we seek guarantees that okay if this has not reached me am i above it am i below it we don't know we don't know where we are in the sense in that sense and the and the work that we do with ourselves the inner work that we do the attention that we pay to every minute experience that we have and the ability to stay with that experience watch it um starts the process of dissolving and resolving some of these energies that we have we we don't know where we have brought them from some of it i can connect the dots and say yes like your example yes i killed that man all those years back or i killed somebody all those years back and maybe what i'm dealing with right now is a consequence of that at the end of the day it's just um what's what's the word probably speculative that we have connected dots and drawn a meaning to it but the truth as i see it is life is the most honest feedback system what is it that reaches the door what is it that enters the door what is the kind of experience that has access to me is the feedback of the energy that i'm holding and the energy that is uh, that's flowing out of me and therefore bringing back experiences which are in resonance if my energy is x the uh, anything that is 1x 2x 3x 5x any of that can have access to me which is because it is in resonance with where i am yeah and uh, presence in my uh, understanding presence as much of presence as i can practice as much as i can stay in the moment and be attentive to whatever has reached me and what is the impact on me and what is my how am i processing it how is it impacting me if i can hold that presence and stay with that kind of attentiveness to whatever reaches me the chances of it dissolving is high and this is not with the objective of there is past karma now i'm supposed to fix it or i'm supposed to resolve it uh, that kind of um, agenda may uh may i'm saying what may lead us into unconsciously unwittingly manipulating the process of our life in my view because i'm saying oh i might have done this and this is the kar- karmic effect now let me address it by doing x y and z again outwardly that is at the end of the day remember we spoke about the debilitating emotions that drains the life force energy that enters us so if it is driven by fear fear of the consequence then that has its own we are creating that in our in our, in our field and that has its own uh, repercussions so connecting to the divine we spoke about the breath and how the breath indicates the presence of the divine so connecting to the divine and being a witness to the process of the human self and uh, staying present to the processes of the human self is in my view uh, the most effective way of dissolving all of those things that is uh, operating through us <laughs>